What is good everyone and welcome back and oh my goodness this season has not been going as planned Obviously you plan to win every game you plan to beat every record you plan to you know what I'm saying win the Super Bowl But so far it has not gone anywhere near that we are one in three That's what it be and I'm not happy Our team has not been stepping up on defense the offense as I am the quarterback We have been carrying the team the defense cannot stop anybody they couldn't stop I don't know. I was trying to make an analogy, but I couldn't think of anything. I was going to say they couldn't stop someone from throwing a basketball into the ocean, but that makes no sense. I don't know. Anyways, you guys see right here on the screen, though, we do have two more skill points. It is time to upgrade uh, my guy. It is time to upgrade myself. We need to go and make sure that we have some throw power. We have good throw and accuracy. We have good throwing on the run, power scrambling, elusive scrambling, and pocket presence. Now, obviously, pocket presence isn't like the greatest thing to go and work on, but we got to do that as well. But right now, throw accuracy is the thing. And we are now a 79 overall. We are making moves. We are progressing forward. And that is exactly what I want to do. Now, also, abilities. I am able to do it all. But we have to work on that so that it's actually a thing. Now, we're going to make sure that we have the bazooka trait so I can throw the ball deep. And then I need the sideline dead eye or do I need the hmm, or do I need the, the route running precision? I got to figure that out. Actually, there's a couple of things, but I also want to unlock all these other. You see on the left hand side, all those other things as well. I want to unlock them. So we're going to have to continue to progress throughout the season so that that is a, uh, a thing. But I'm going to work on that sideline dead eye with the bazooka. So in the last episode, I did have the all black mid Jordans. I was trying to come out here looking scary. I was trying to, you know what I'm saying, intimidate my opponent. Because if you ever see a guy with an all black Air Forces, all black, you know what I'm saying, mids on, I'll be, I'll be nervous. I'll be like, yo, he's coming out for blood. He's coming out for violence. But today, I got to change it because it didn't work. I got intimidated by my opponent. When I should be intimidating my opponent. So with that being the case, we are going with the Nike, the Nike Vapor Edge cleats. They're fresh. They look dope, especially with that colorway of uh, the lime green, the black, and the white. I actually want these as soccer cleats. They have a soccer cleat version of these. Um, they're fire. Anyways, you guys seen right here. We are taking on the New Orleans Saints, and like I've been saying in the last episode, if you guys did not watch it, make sure you watch it after this. My defense cannot stop anyone, not a single soul. Like they're already up seven to zero early on in this game. I can't do anything on defense. I can't even step in there and try to help them out. So hopefully we can do our thing here. But you guys are seeing so far, we are throwing Noah Fant. Noah Fant is going to be a catalyst today for us. I found a new play and it's where Noah Fant is always open. Let's go. trying to tell you man no offense on this one play that i found is open every single time now i don't know if it's because the saints like linebackers aren't too good or whatever but whatever the case is i'm gonna keep running this play all day because i don't care if you say dre you run one play you run one play you run two plays i don't care i'm just trying to win we are on a two game losing streak and look at this boom Right. Oh my gosh, DK Metcalf is a beast on third and seven. He picks up three yards, so it's fourth and four. I should have thrown that pass a little bit earlier. But with that being the case right there, we are going to go and take our field goal. And with that being the case, we'll be up 10 to seven. Now it's 10 to 10. We can't stop anybody. Another great pass and another great catch. Play action once again, and we're going deep. And see, this is my thing. An interception. It looked like a bad pass, but it was in a very good spot. The receiver has to make sure that he cuts across and can't let the cornerback cut across and pick the ball off from us like that. But here I go, and I'm scrambling, showing some Lamar Jackson abilities.
I know that we're down. I know we're not winning, but I don't care. I'm going to keep playing like, you know, we, we, we are in the lead. I'm going to keep playing with no fear. And just like that, another touchdown pass. Look who it is. No offense again. Seventeen to thirteen. Two minutes left in the second quarter. A great pass. A great pickup. First downs. Can I somehow get to uh, field goal range? I'm in there, just like that. I wanted to be in field goal range so that we can at least get some points before the half is over. Go into the second half with more of a lead, if that is possible. Now, second and twenty-five. We lost a lot. Wow, we got lucky. We got lucky right there. A very good catch because that was actually, I threw the ball when I got hit. It just kind of came out of my hands. T.Y. Hilton got it. He was open. And so was Noah. Oh, my. That should have been an easy first down catch. We could have got a touchdown to end the half potentially. But with that being the case of a drop pass, we're only up by seven. 20 to 13 in the third quarter across the middle once again, and we do fine. DK Metcalf, who was able to catch the ball, run, do his thing, turn up, and we have been throwing the ball like crazy today. So far, my best passing performance of the season. Yes, we are throwing. I was just about to say, yes, we have been throwing interceptions, but it's okay. As long as we win the game, I don't I could throw 10 picks at this point. I just want to win. Scramble, go ahead, off. Speed, speed. And we do not fumble, which is good. First down pickup. We continue to move the chains. Second and four. Noah Fant again. A very good pass. We are learning to throw the ball above the receivers in front of the safeties. It has been something that we've been struggling with early on this season. And look at this, changing it up, celebrating in the end zone. I'm feeling good. The swag is there. Another touchdown. This time it's a run. Play action read, and we hold it. End zone. TDs for days. Let's go. First and 10, once again, 27 and 20 across the middle. Just like that, we do end up finding who else? The one man that we're going to keep on going to today because he has been open. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I'm definitely not going to change the game plan. Another great catch. We do get tackled on the two-yard line. The two. What it do? And we're going to get in right here. I know we're going to get into the end zone right here. And we... That interception was not my fault. It was in the receiver's hands. He let it slip through his hands. The defender picked it off. But we're still in the lead. 27-7 is the score. Throwing a dot right here on the run while three players are chasing me down. That is how we do, man. That is how we ball. I have total faith in my arm strength. Here we go with the speed. I have strength, or I have faith in my arm strength, and I have faith in my legs and my speed. My ability to run. Second touchdown of the day. We outran the whole defense right there. That's how we place, man. That's how we do. That is exactly what I want to see. Sometimes you got to do it with your feet. Sometimes you can throw the ball with your hands. And we're up by 14. They scored a touchdown. I don't know what's going on, bro. This is...
it's a combination, yes, I understand. It's a combination of the turnovers that I'm throwing on top of the defense not playing too well. We're in a good spot once again to take the lead here with about nine minutes and 22 seconds on the clock, but still, I mean, we need to figure this out. We need to do something to where Okay, good. No turnovers, man. Fourth and goal. Oh, that was fourth and goal. I should have got a touchdown right there. And they're in the oh my, they're in the lead. 41 points are scored on us. This is like the second or third game this season where our opponent has scored more than 30 points on us. And this is not obviously looking good. This is obviously not what we want either. Third and six, we need to get the first down, and we don't get it. Fourth and six. We need to get the first down, and we get it. Okay, Noah Finn is there once again. Noah Finn has been the savior of our team today. Um, an incredible moment as well. We have... Crazy, crazy moment, crazy moment. How do we end up losing this game? How do we end up lo- I don't even know what to say, y'all. I don't even know what to say. You're seeing the stats right here. Incredible 693 passing yards. That is an NFL record. I threw it 50 times. Two touchdowns, five picks. What else? I don't I don't know what else I can say. What else I could do? I don't know. Alvin Kamara ran for over 100 yards today. A lot of attempts. Four rushes. And two touchdowns. So I had a total of four touchdowns and five turnovers alone. Yes, that's probably a big reason why our team is not doing too well when it comes to uh, playing defense because we're giving the ball over a lot. Uh, the defense or the offense, the other teams in good spots to score, but our defense can't do anything to stop their offense. 492 yards, two touchdowns for no offense today. That would be the most incredible stat line of all time. If you had them in fantasy, you would probably win. You would win. I mean, there's no way you would lose money on a day like that where you have Noah fan going crazy. Um, who else uh, went off for us? Well, on the defense, not really anybody. But you guys are seeing for them, for the Saints, Marcus May, who is their free safety, had two picks. Tyrone Matthew also had 12 tackles and two picks they both have 12 tackles and two picks their safeties went off and that does say a lot about what i'm doing is that i'm throwing the ball uh, deep for one and two inaccurately uh medium throw and deep throw if their safeties are obviously getting interceptions like that and are making a lot of tackles as well you guys are seeing Noah Fant was the top player for the NFC of the week, obviously. 25 catches, 492 yards, 19.7 um, yards average per catch, and then two touchdowns. And then Tyrone Matthew, my opponent, 12 tackles, two interceptions. Him or May could have either been the uh, defensive player of the week. They both had the same stats. So like I said before, I broke the NFL record for most passing yards in a game, 600. 693 693 nobody has even cracked 600 I almost had 700 insane performance um, today can I replicate this again possibly should I try to go for a record again let me know down below if you guys want to see it also Noah Fant has another record so two records from our offense uh, passing yards, receiving yards, and no one has even had 400, and Noah Fan almost had 500, 492. So we're on a three-game losing streak, and then we have to take on the 4-1 Cardinals. It's not going to be easy. This might be a long season, 
and uh, it's not looking too good right now. But hopefully we can bounce back in the next episode, and that is what I'm looking to do. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned for more coming out soon. I will see y'all later, and I am out.